Right, okay. So I think... Yeah, I think this is what I gotta do. Took me a while, but... See this cad? Is this your cad? This whole punch, it's this whole punch's cad. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. No need to ask questions, just marking some cards. And I'm on my way. So yeah, it's been a while, guys. Um, I accidentally deleted all of the f uh, footage I had of this next bit because I was... Well... I won't say stupid, but I made a mistake. We're all human, right? Well, except for Manny. Manny's... I don't know what he is. Skeleton. Bro. Skeleton bro. Okay, so... What you were supposed to do was... See this thing? It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Yep. See this thing? It's locked. But... It's locked. I have a card for that. See this? Punched holes through the top of it, so now we can slip it in. And it won't get sucked in. <laughs> Mercedes Colomar, flight number 9308, blah blah blah. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha! Positive attributes. Volunteer time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. <laughs> Are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. Whoa. Oh. Easy there, Gladys. Easy there, Gladys. Uh huh, Domino. Put your tongue back in. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here. Where it says you're entitled to a first class ticket to nowhere? Sorry. What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Oh, my Just goodness. stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. <sighs> you know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Oh, my uh -huh. goodness. How do you live? Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it, either. I guess you'll just have to trust me, then. Oh my goodness, come on, litter. Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. 
Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Hmm. Oh, crap. She was supposed to have a ticket on the number nine, and yet... We can't find the reason why. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Aww. Come on, just gotta sneak by the boss's office without him knowing, and... I'm hey, straight. funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Well, crap. Uh, Gl Gladys? W what is that? Never mind, I don't wanna know. I don't see anyone out there. Oh, well, I'm screwed, so. Doesn't open. Let's try to open this door then. Hey, is anybody out there? Oh. So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Um... Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Plus, you're a bit taller than I remember. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Um... Nah. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Okay. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. May I have to turn the voices up a little bit? To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. 
Well, okay then. Hmm. Let's see. Eva, who's working that. Yeah, Sal here, who's just. Is, is that what I think it is? You're thinking of weaponizing the pigeons. The pigeons! Oh my goodness. Um. Alright, bud, what do I gotta do? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Uh, going to be your... Or I should stop. You want me to be your messenger? No, my way. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Okay. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all do qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Hmm. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I, someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. <laughs> they have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. R R why don't you just rip my teeth out? I'm a skeleton! Take my jawbone! Doesn't Kabar wonder where you are? Don and Domino were both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fence. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? But, 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 but how can he be fat? He's a skeleton! We're all skeletons down here! How long What's have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. We're all skeletons! Except for the elemental spirit, whatever things. And demons. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You oh, have field me. agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, man. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Just punch my lights out! Seriously, that's all you had to do. Just punch me out or something.